Naturally, when you live with your grandma, you might hear a lot about bazarki or flea markets. After I first moved here, a lot of places were shut down, so I think this was one of the first places that I, as I came to frequent pretty often after the weather got warmer. Babcio, pytanie dla ciebie. Co to jest bazar? Co to jest bazarek? No, pan mi się sprzedaje różne rzeczy. Ale jest to takie magiczne miejsce? Nie, magiczne. Chyba nie. Normalne miejsce. Odbywa się tam. No, tak, tak, tak. <laughs> okay, so maybe bazarki aren't magical. However, I feel like these open marketplaces are a really good place to learn. <laughs> Not only do I get insight into what's being sold and bought around here, it really is a good place to kind of people watch. Anyway, on this particular day, it was a week after I got the keys to my new place, so I figured I'd just waste some time, walk around, do a little treasure hunting. <laughs> Stricken cactus and it starts to rain. The smell of steamed asphalt since it novocaine. Nature's brew of all kinds of things. The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make me Patrzę, ale czekaj, tutaj jest prawdziwy konik też. Prawdziwego nie ma. <laughs> Co nie wiesz? Czy ty jedziesz? Nie chyba. Endless roads to the horizon. Pass the oasis, it's all behind you. Mirage of lava, the stars above you. The creature's days to nocturnal days. Makes you forget about all types of things. You remind me of the Arizona thunder. Satisfy the times and make you wonder about the bigger picture in your life. The simple times in the Arizona thunder. No more cute lunches in Polishla, guys, because we're changing our job again. Well, good morning. Good morning from Zhabka. Um Today, today we had to go to a doctor's appointment again because once again you have to get a medical exam done before you start working anywhere. I decided to get this juice. It even came with a paper straw. I'm not used to seeing paper straws everywhere, so it's cool. Oh, 
No jak zauważasz? Mamczu, boję się, że ja po prostu nigdy nie złapię wszystkie słowa. Wiesz? No się gadać po angielsku. Nie, to nie było zwane po angielsku. No przecież mieszkam tutaj. No co, no co mi pokazujesz? No czy fajnie to wygląda? Do jeansów fajne, nie? Fajne czy nie? No powiedz szczerze, ja się nie podniewam. Fajne czy nie? No fajny kolor. Nie wiem jak się czujesz, czy to jest fajna taka koszula, czy... Ja nie dotykam, bo ja mam mokre. Mokre, nie, to jest cienkie. Ale czy w kolorze... Wygląda tak, jak dużo nie nosiłaś, to myślę, że może nie przyda ci się. Bo no już byś nosiła, nie? Ale do jeansów by było fajne. Prawda? Może. Well, another thing that I think I'm kind of lucky with here is that I found that in European apartments that I've lived in in the past, also this place, they don't come empty. The owners often leave furniture or they leave stuff in the kitchen. I find that in the US, usually it's on you to buy all that stuff, but here they're more likely to leave that for you for your use as you rent, which is quite cool and nice to save money. But I have had to buy a few things. But yeah, I'll probably be back to Ikea, but I went yesterday with Bokja. I picked up pencils. This fun little spatula. Had them in all sorts of colors, little heat protection type boards, so I don't damage anything. And then I got this cutting board. Um, I never had had such a big cutting board. I normally just I also have some pillows that are already in the bedroom, but I haven't opened up yet, of course, because I need sheets. adapting to the idea and the reality that I will not be living with Bobja. I'll be living on my own fully, which is lonely too, but yeah, it's kind of sad, but it's also good. And I think that it'll be good to have some space and not continue as an adult to be living with your grandmother. I feel like you kind of got to put that to rest eventually. I look a mess, but um, the process of moving for me here in Warsaw is very relaxed because I mean, I got the keys a while ago. It's very empty right now. Might even be like a slight echo in this room. I had a package arriving from H&M, so I had to be here when the courier came. And luckily it was perfect timing because I had a school presentation that had just finished. I also got a duvet. I got, H&M has these nice linen bed covers. So I got this. It's not that exciting, like it's just white. There's no literally nothing to it. So here's my fitted sheet. I also wanted to get like a topper sheet that goes between your blanket and your bottom sheet. And all the people who were working there were telling me that they just don't have demand. Like nobody here uses those extra sheets. They just have the bottom sheet and then the duvet. Also in white, because I'm an adult. <laughs> And I got a little doormat to put outside the door. So that's very exciting, very exciting. The other thing that I realized when I was um, filming myself the other day in this apartment, there's something else I bought for this place for being, you know, an independent adult living on my own. My first vacuum cleaner. And she's beautiful. Look at her. She's light. This is it. That's where the trash goes. There's no box and you charge her. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. I'm so used to having the really heavy big boxes you drag around and the cable that follows you. So now we have that too. Obviously I looked at the robots as well, the little circles that spin around your home, but I think that I usually like leave too much stuff laying around. The robots aren't gonna pick up my clothes, so. It was kind of small. <laughs> kind of small, but I was envisioning it only being on one. It does kind of match the wall color nicely. Right now it's also very hot. AC is not as big in Poland, I don't think, as in the US. High energy costs also might be a factor in that. I don't love you anymore. Goodbye. So yeah, I'm about to leave here again because I don't feel like sweating. Mm -hmm.
Idziemy na lody? No, w ręce. Tutaj kiedyś chodziłam, czasy nie wiem. Weźmy i takie, kurczę, płacimy za to i tak się o to nie zgadzi. Wychowanie sportowego. Realnie, no, zamiast jej pomóc, ale nie kulturalnie, nie? W ogóle jakich ch**a. Ejku, w tym śmietniku nawet gorzej. Mamy trafikę. Jeszcze mamy z jadą podwodą. Tak, nie też pełne. Co? No, a kiedy ostatnio byłaś na lody? Jeszcze wtedy jadę. To wygląda na takie świństwo, ale muszę to wypić, bo widoki. Napisz im nie patrz fajnie na widoki. Piękne dziewczyny w słońcu. Piękna dziewczyna. Najpiękniejsza tutaj właśnie. But that was really fast and it's easy. I have my duvet already. I have my insert and I have what's it called? Like the the gum, na gumke, the bottom sheet, little covers I have as well. Bedding situation is pretty pretty good and fine. And yeah, let's go. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then put like a sheet and like make the bed or whatever, so it feels a little bit more. I live with the twin for a while and I quite like having the extra floor space to for activities and like uh, laying on the floor which I like. This is also very little space between this um, great, great closet and the bed. So this has also been insightful and I might think a little bit more about what bed I'm gonna get and like if there's a way to make it smaller. I'm already looking like a full, so something even smaller but not a twin. It's like, I'm not gonna find that but anyway. I was just realizing, I was talking to my mom, that this is the first time I've really lived on my own because and it's <laughs> all the times before this I was either with family or with roommates. Like I never could live alone, never could afford to live alone before. And yeah, I just, I'm like a little bit nervous. I think I've been a little bit nervous and like delaying the move out because you know, I don't normally have to be alone like this. I talked to my sister yesterday, who's younger, but she's lived alone several times now. She was just saying to go to the grocery store and make sure you have buy toilet paper and cleaning stuff, cleaning products. That was kind of as far as we got because it was getting late, but it prompted me to do a quick Google search of like what things I need to know before I live on my own or how to prepare. I think I'm gonna be okay because it was like know how to do grocery shopping, know how to clean and organize things, do basic repairs. That's where I'm probably weakest, but I do have the internet and lots of personal resources that I can utilize and call. And know how to do laundry, good enough anyway. I thought I was gonna sleep here and then I made it bop just. She just gave me so many groceries that I don't know, my bed's still here, so maybe I could like sleep over tomorrow if I have to, but. Back at Bob Cesarati. Mmm. Miseria. <laughs> Alright, so we're leaving Bob Ches and we have this whole bag which includes some cabbage, extra glasses she had around, but also a bag of fresh strawberries that she picked up today and leftover goulash for tomorrow. I wanted to note that all that paper was there to protect a pillow from getting thrown around in a box and a duvet insert, so... So this is going to be the second duvet insert that I have purchased incorrectly. Yeah, not only do I have a bunch of trash to take down, that was kind of a waste, but I also have to go and return this duvet anyway and hope that in the store they have the size that I actually need, which is 200 by 200 centimeters, 
instead of 150 by 220. Yeah, I'm just having a really hard time understanding what size I need for the duvet to fall over the mattress a bit, which is not very Euro style, but 150 by 220 I think is what you do for like a single bed. I should have done the math and thought before they put the order in, so anyway. Back to switching out the rug. It's dark, which maybe is a little bit sad, but I think that since I'm gonna have very light bedding, the walls are quite light and we get a lot of daylight already in here, so. Um, I'm honestly having the best time taking a stroll today. It's like windy, warm, and I look a little chaotic, but, and also I keep singing. I haven't listened to Vampire Weekend in a really long time, and just a beautiful day. And there are trucks next to us. this beige throat today. This is like pretty much a sheet and I feel like this will help keep me warm. <laughs> I think I mentioned at some point but my desk for my Kia, the cheapest table that they have there for sale, arrived yesterday, like first thing in the morning. Gorgeous. And we have exams now. I've been a bit stressed. I figured that this is why I got a table so that I have somewhere to sit, like my back's starting to hurt. I think it'll only help my studies. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that together. This would be a cool spot and all the other walls are, are kind of taken, like by this TV, for example. This is all taken. So then the other option, I could put it against the balcony. I don't think it would be too much of an inconvenience. And then I can look out at my nice view, which I'm not showing right now. So I might put it here for now. That's kind of a mess. So I have outlets back here. new day i'm so tired honestly just finished two of my exams and i just was feeling like i've over caffeinated too early in the day and i didn't sleep very well last night i might take a nap and i remembered that more packages arrived for me today and i actually just ordered I told you guys how i went to zara and i had to change the duvet insert again so yeah i just ordered exchanged it and ordered the new one in store yesterday i already have the new duvet like it came this morning before my exam started which was nice. But anyway, this thought came back to me while I was considering falling asleep that I have this insert and I'd actually not better with a real blanket on this bed. So I have a little, little energy left to make my bed a little cozier and then probably go take a nap until I don't know when. I might also go back to the Bobcha today. It's much better. It almost doesn't feel like you can still feel like you're on an air mattress, but at least now there's like a little layer of cushion between you and the air mattress. I don't know, you know, if I like it yet or not. I feel like going shopping for home stuff now is just so weird because everyone comes to you with these questions that you won't know how to answer because uh, I'm assuming you haven't bought that many duvet inserts in your life. Most of the ones that I've had have just been hand-me-downs or like happened to be around that I would use in hotels or other people's homes. I wouldn't even think about what's inside. Uh, same thing with the pillows and what material your sheets and bedding should be. I don't know. I hear linen's good, I hear cotton good natural fabrics so it just gets a little overwhelming as well shopping for these things I have my little throw oh yeah now i'm ready i'm ready for a real nice nap so i'm gonna say goodbye honestly i think i'm a little too excited right now for this upgrade in bedding situation to nap but so i might stay up a few more minutes just a few though it's only 3 15. man time, time flies how did that happen Sorry, I messed that up. It's 2.15. Also, like, I never change my watch when the hour adjusts. Well, I also didn't adjust my watch when I came over from Mexico. So, Mexico City right now, it's like 7.15. So, do a little math each time. I hate math, but, you know. Uh, until later. <laughs>